is, is I used to hear growing up, if you don't quit doing that, God's going to curse you. How many of you heard that message? But see, that wasn't, it, it, was, it wasn't truth, but it was real close to the truth. And here's the point. We were already cursed. We were born cursed. You say, no, no, not me. I was born to the right family. We're good people. I don't care how good a people you were. You were born under the curse under, from a woman. Read the scripture. So what happened was when you and I got saved, we were brought out of the curse. When I seen this revelation, it changed my thinking. Because no longer did I see God as someone trying to punish me, I seen God as someone trying to deliver me, and if I'd get in His plan and in His will, I could get all this other kept at bay. It's, it's like this. I, I don't have it. I wish I had t uh, 10 $1 bills or 10 20s. Well, Ed, you got 10 20s on you? <laughs> you, you? I think the Lord's speaking to you, brother. <laughs> No, you don't have to do that. I'm messing. I'm messing with you. But here's the reality. What does the tithe do? Let's say you got $10, just 10, 10 ones. Okay, under the curse system, that kingdom, you're, see, you're in a different kingdom. Under that kingdom, all of them are cursed. Here's the cool thing. When you give one of them, when you give one of them a tenth, the other nine become redeemed. They're blessed. It's not filthy lucre anymore. Why? You brought it into the kingdom. 